to experience the rugged main coast in luxury. It's breathtaking. You can see it in pictures, but you really have to see it for yourself. New at 1030, how a piece of local history on a private island is giving Mainers a new view of the coast. If you're looking for something adventurous to do this summer, we have we may have just the thing for you. How would you like to stay on your own private island off the rugged main coast in this restored lighthouse and keeper's house? While the island may be rugged, the new inn on the island is anything but. Fox 23's Brad Rogers gives you a first-hand look at the newly restored lighthouse in this special report. More people come down this peninsula for lighthouses and lobsters than for any other reason. Booth Bay Harbor is one of Maine's top summer tourist destinations, yet some believe this fishing village may have never been established were it not for the lighthouses that surround this harbor. Imagine coming in here with no lighthouse, no fog signal, after dark on a um, dreary Maine evening. Philip Yuzinski says shipwrecks were common before the lighthouses and foghorns made it safe for mariners to navigate these waters at night and in foggier stormy weather. There are four lighthouses and the reason there are four lighthouses is because commerce literally couldn't happen without those signals. Uh, it, was, it was too dangerous. Perhaps the most important of these lighthouses was the Cuckold's Lighthouse, built on this small granite island off the coast of Southport at the entrance to Booth Bay Harbor. For more than 100 years, this light tower and fog signal have alerted boaters to stay away from this island's treacherous currents and rocky underwater shoals. This station was manned by lightkeepers until 1974. That's when the Coast Guard automated the light and dismantled the keeper's house and boathouse. Then, in 2004, the U.S. Coast Guard slated this lighthouse for demolition. The base was crumbling and tipping. The concrete between the great granite blocks had come loose, so they were falling. The roof had holes in it. Ten years ago, Philip Yuzinski and his wife Janet Reingold took it upon themselves to save the lighthouse from demolition. Over there is Ocean Point. The couple created a nonprofit organization to restore the lighthouse and rebuild the keeper's house. Ten years later, their dream is finally a reality. It's got to be a thrill. It's beyond a thrill. It's, um, it was really our vision from the beginning, and it's finally happening. The light tower has now been restored to its former glory. The view is even better from the top. We're 60 feet up. This is, I consider it the front porch light to Booth Bay Harbor. The light is a four stack LED, so it's instant on, instant off. From here you can see up and down the mid coast in all of Booth Bay Harbor. But the Cuckold's Council didn't stop there. It raised enough money to rebuild the boathouse and keeper's house to look exactly as they did more than 100 years ago, right down to the two chimneys, even though only one works. Our commitment was to build the outside historically correct and then to repurpose the inside as an inn, as an accommodation for overnight visitors. This was a 10-year project in the making and really a community-wide effort. People and businesses from Southport, Booth Bay, Damariscotta, and several other communities all gave their time, money, and building materials to restore this lighthouse and rebuild the keeper's house. The end result? Pretty spectacular. We had no idea when we first got involved that it would ever look like this. A former director of human resources, Barbara Aubey, is now one of the new keepers of this lighthouse. And now you're a keeper. I know, now I'm a keeper, but my husband says he knew 32 years ago that I was a keeper. <laughs> Her husband, Dan, a retired naval officer, nuclear engineer, and graduate of Maine Maritime Academy, is the other keeper. It's breathtaking. You can see it in pictures, but you really have to see it for yourself. For yourself. While the outside looks the same as it did when first built, inside the keeper's house is absolute luxury. The barn door opens into a pantry that has a convection oven, microwave oven. Downstairs is a country kitchen with a fireplace, the keeper's quarters, and this parlor, all part of the newly opened inn at Cuckold's Lighthouse. For the nonprofit to be able to sustain itself, uh, we really need to have, bring in the income. Upstairs are two suites with dramatic ocean views from every window. The West Suite accommodates up to four people. The East Suite is exclusively for couples. You can even reserve the entire inn and island for your own luxurious private getaway. I mean, you expected it to be nice, but this is really beyond. I mean, it really is 
a special place. And then you add the ocean to that, right? As the new keepers, Barbara and Dan Aubey will serve as hosts, but they will also take on the roles of chef, housekeeper, tour guide, concierge, and boat captain. Take guests to and from shore throughout the day. We're going to be cooking, we're going to be cleaning, um, we're going to be uh, launch captains. The Inn at Cuckold's Lighthouse will even host weddings and other venues and will be open for artists and tours. This is the first time in history that the public can actually come out here and see this beautiful, rugged, fabulous place. Through the generosity of countless people, this historic 1892 fog signal and light station was saved and will remain an active lighthouse off Booth Bay Harbor for centuries to come. In Southport, Brad Rogers, Fox 23 News at 10. It's quite a sight. More than 100 nights have already been booked at the new inn and Cuckold's Lighthouse. With a minimum two-night stay, rooms are $500 a night. On weekends, $350 a night during the week, and you must be at least 18 years old. And uh, for $3,000, you can rent the whole inn for a weekend and have the entire island to yourself. For more information, go to WGME.com.